Henry Mancini, the Peter Gunn theme. Okay, today we've been talking about my ridiculous orange glasses, but they go with, you know, it's Duck Dynasty and it's written in orange. Orange, orange. Okay, so um, we're still working on issues that I've got with um, English. I mean, English is a hard enough language. Anybody that's um, been around people trying to learn English, uh, it's not easy. But then we have people who decide that they're going to redefine English words. Common English words, common meaning. Like, for example, orange. We have people that decide, um, I'm going to take the word orange and um, this is the new orange. This is an orange bird and this is an orange hat. How does that advance communication when you redefine a word so that no one else is going to understand you? And then, I don't know, like in your circle of people that you talk to in a month, I don't know, is it like 200 people that you might have a possibility from, you know, somebody at the gas station that, you know, to, you know, your, your, all your neighbors, to your family members, to your friends, you know, and then if, if every one of those 200 people redefines all the words in English, so it's not just one person telling you that these glasses are orange, or pink, pink, oh, pink. These are pink, or, or it's like every time you meet a new person, um, it's like, okay, I got to get Jack's dictionary because Jack calls orange, orange. And Jill calls orange, pink. And um, if I get them mixed up, then we're not going to be able to communicate. That's why we have a dictionary. These are the common meanings for this word, standardized. But then you'll get these people that want to bastardize English and have their own definitions. And then you got to remember that this person is a wacko and you're going to have to keep telling them uh, that color is pink and this color is orange. Just around that person and people that hang out with that person um, only if they're with that person will this be orange. But if they're at McDonald's with their mother, then this is pink. But not on Tuesdays, because it's going to be black. Why am I discussing this? Um, it's because there's some an issue that I've got with this kind of behavior. Uh, Facebook groups. You know, you join a Facebook group and some of them have got certain restrictions on what you can and can't say. You expect me to remember. You expect me to remember what your do's and don'ts are for your Facebook group. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know right now, currently, I've got about 25 Facebook, it's probably more than that. I don't remember what all the stipulations are, and um, the reason I have them is sometimes I just like to have a place to post some of my garbage. You know, the stuff that comes out of my mouth, I just, that's, I just want a place to put it. So I just joined a bunch of Facebook groups, I can't remember when or, you know, why, but they're there, and, you know, I got a new... Um, Video, uh, um, this one just, it 
the video itself wants to be posted, so I'm going to post it here, there, and, you know, like, am I allowed? I don't know. Do I, I, it doesn't cost me anything, you know. Like, seriously, for me to, it uh, doesn't cost me anything to go on to Facebook. doesn't cost me to go into any one of these Facebook groups. It's free. It's free. So, you know, I use it. And, I mean, if you're, like, an administrator of one of these things, and, um, you know, um, oh, you it's... Some people have got huge heads. You know, it's my Facebook group. I'm the administrator of it. Or it's my Facebook page, and, you know, like, uh, I don't want people putting it. Just delete it then. Or, you know. Lock down your Facebook so nobody random can come to your... We don't care. I mean, the whole point of it is... Um, is there a point? Isn't it for, like, communication and finding either people who are kind of like you or a lot like you or... You know, like... Why put up all these barriers... Barriers to enter my Facebook group. Why well, put them up? Clearly you haven't been on Facebook long enough to join a bunch of other groups and realize that people do these dumb things. Because they can, because Facebook gives you these options. But seriously, I don't give a rat's ass about any of these Facebook groups. Someone says you can't post there anymore, usually what I do is I just leave the group. I just unsubscribe from the group because I don't want to hassle. You know, and as far as, oh, I'm only in this group, I don't know who the hell you are. I don't care about you. I mean, is this the way I feel about you? Generally speaking, this is the way I feel about humans. Humans are dime a dozen. And most humans are stupid. The smartest humans are the ones like me who realize that they're stupid. Right? I realize that I'm stupid. It doesn't make me worthless. It makes me aware of my limitations. I'm stupid. Sometimes I can't believe the stupid things that I do. You know, it's like I'm looking for my glasses. Where the hell are my glasses? I'm going all over the house. Where the hell are my glasses? Two hours later, I, I go uh, to lie down on the couch, and I take my hat off, and then it's like, oh, there's my glasses. I'm stupid. And sometimes other stupid things happen with me. I'm not unique. Everyone has stupid. But some people won't admit it. These are the stupidest people of all. If you don't know that you're capable of being stupid, then you're um, really stupid. But censorship is a huge issue these days because, um, you know, the, um, I don't know if they have people on Facebook that are, like, looking at things or if it's all just artificial intelligence. But the artificial intelligence isn't very smart, and neither are the people, the fact checkers and all this bullshit. And the children don't even use Facebook. They use TikTok that... I don't know, Donald Trump is having some kind of a shit fit over TikTok and doesn't want people using TikTok. It's like, those children are like 11 years old. They can't even vote for you, Donald, you idiot.